Good afternoon, people. It is Saturday, and we're about to go out to Alberton's so we can purchase a few things, you know? Oh. It gets dark right there, huh? Yeah, it gets really dark just that one spot. Ain't good for a black man. So we're going to Albertsons to pick something up. Don't know what. I know we're going to get a light bulb. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm sick again for the hundredth time in like a month, so just ignore any snot that might be dripping out of my nose right now. Because this is I'm my view all day of Rose. This is how I see her every I'm day. I'm not that short. He is just very tall, so... This is how I see her every single day. She <laughs> is tiny. So yeah, I have a cold now. For like the hundredth time that I've been sick and I have a cold and I'm okay. It's just like a really, I'm really congested and I had a sore throat. But actually right now it's feeling a little better. It's pretty bad in the mornings. I don't know why, but it's just like super bad in the mornings. And then throughout the day it gets a little bit better. But anyway, my nose, I've covered it up a little bit with, um, just like a little bit of product because um, it is like bright red, <laughs> like through here, you can still tell, but. Manny's telling me to vlog this guy. I don't even know if you can see him, yeah. He's, He's just like here. chilling yeah. over there. <laughs> what kind of bike is that? Look, it's like hard to pedal, it looks like. <laughs> Why is he even in the road? Is he allowed? <laughs> like slowing on But it looks so funny. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is, the windows are really dirty in here. That was really funny. <laughs> all right, so we're home. You can see my nose all red and gross. because I've been wiping it consistently. I am concerned about tomorrow. Hang on a second, I'm fix this. Anyway, I'm concerned about tomorrow because um, I have to wipe my nose so much and I'm gonna be leading worship tomorrow morning. And, um, yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, it kind of calms down. I'm gonna take some Sudafed or something and see if that'll help just kind of calm down my, my nose because it is just pouring like really bad. My eyes are watery, um, which I don't mind the eye things as much, but my nose, I mean, I don't really want, you know, my nose to be all nasty when I'm up there. So I'll have to try to wipe it or something if it gets really bad, but I don't want to do that either. So I don't know, it's gonna be kind of a weird situation. Cause normally when I'm sick, my nose is so blocked that it doesn't run. It's just like, I sound sick, but it's really running, which is good. Cause maybe I won't get that sick, but it's really kind of frustrating because um, I had to lead worship and I don't, you know, I don't really know. And I had a really bad cough this morning when I first woke up. Um, but that has gotten better throughout the day. So I still have little flare ups of it, but not too bad, so hopefully I'll be able to get some rest tonight. Hey guys, so obviously I just showered. My hair is totally wet still, and I still have to put some product in it and all of that, and I haven't combed it. It's pretty crazy looking right now, but I'm just sitting here. I'm really stressed that my nose is gonna be still runny like this in the morning. I took some Sudafed to try to get rid of the congestion. Um, I mean, it could be much worse. My voice is still okay, but I just don't want it to be all runny on stage this is the stuff that we like i said earlier we have to worry about and i don't want to you know have to be wiping my nose on stage um normally when i'm sick i just sound bad you know i don't really deal with this side of it that often i mean i'll worry that i'll sneeze or you know have like a coughing attack or something but my nose isn't normally super runny like this it's normally just super blocked so i don't know it's a good thing but i hope that everything goes good and my skin right now if you guys can see is actually really 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 clear my eyelash extensions are are still there they're actually not doing too bad um but anyway my skin you can see some scarring but it's actually really fading and my skin is looking really good for me i mean you know i always have skin issues but i don't have any breakouts i have not had breakouts for weeks um probably over a month now i've had just clear skin and uh i feel way better tomorrow I mean, about myself, I don't feel very good right now, but I feel better about my face because it's really clear. Not that there's anything wrong with not having clear skin, because um, there's not, but of course, you know, you kind of feel uncomfortable with it sometimes. Right, good morning, guys. Um, it's Sunday, and I'm going to walk out and see what the weather is like this morning. 
I have some green eyes going on. Um, I, ooh, I'm chilly, but it like feels good. Um, anyways, I am just getting out and getting ready to go. Um, I am tired today. Went to bed kind of late and uh, didn't sleep the best, but I still have this stuffy nose. But, um, oh, my hair. Oh my gosh. But, I'm okay. Um, I'm sure I'll be able to sing today. I just, oh, I just, um, you know, will sound a little bit sick, but that's something that just happens sometimes. So, I'm gonna make myself some tea really quickly because, um, that will help kind of just get me ready for anything. Let me see if I even have the tea that I normally drink. Okay, I found it. I had to refill the Keurig and I spilled water all on the counter, but I've got that cleaned up, so I made it and I'm gonna put some honey in it and drink it. This stuff is really good for your voice if you are sick or anything like that. Um, and also, um, like if you're, especially if you're a singer or anything like that, or a public speaker or anything, um, it is perfect. That's actually what it's made for. Um, but anyways, very good for you. And they also have a new one that has lemon in it, I guess, or flavoring or something that's supposed to, um, why am I looking in the front? What am I doing? That's supposed to taste better. Um, this one tastes like black Twizzlers. If you know what that tastes like, that's exactly what this tastes like. Um, I actually don't think it is bad, um, but a lot of people hate it. I'm very used to it too, so that could be part of it, but I don't have a problem with it. If I just put some honey in it, I can I can handle it fine. I actually like the flavor of it. I think it's good, um, but a lot of people hate it, so if you want to try it and you hate this flavor, definitely try the lemon one. Okay, guys. Usually, I would try to cover up this redness on my nose because... And it's just not the cutest. But this is what I look like right now. Manny said I look sick. <laughs> and I do. I feel pretty sick. This morning I will update you on how it went. Because I know I said I was worried that my nose was going to be dripping all over the place and nastiness. And um, actually it went okay. It was really awesome. Because um, I had a really stuffy nose, really runny nose before going up. Like really bad. And then when I got on stage to lead worship... Not even kidding, my nose did not run one time. It felt clear. I was able to sing. I was like, okay, I'm feeling better. Like, this is good. And then, not even kidding, just a few minutes after I got off stage, it started again. So, that was nothing other than God. I know that he did that for me. Um, and I just, you know, I think that if I hadn't started feeling worse again after, maybe I wouldn't be so quick to give him credit. <laughs> so, maybe that's why. But, um... No, I definitely believe that he allowed me to be able to get through that this morning without any, um, I need to put some more water in this. It's like all evaporated, but, um, but I know that it was him. So, um, really just went really well and worship was powerful this morning. I love when the team leaves the stage and, and they're talking about how powerful it was, you know, when we're able to which we always do, but, you know, th there's just certain days that are just, like, you're like, wow, you know, we get to do this. Like, it's really awesome, yeah. but right now, I am making some stuff. I really don't feel good, to be honest with you. I just want to lay down and go to sleep, but I've had this on my heart. Like, I've had my heart set on making this food. <laughs> I bought stuff for it. <laughs> Spent a lot of money on, the, like, all this random stuff because I wanted to make, like, Super Bowl kinds of food, and that's, like, I love those kinds of snacks, like, the little dips and things like that, so I bought, like, frozen wings just to put in the oven. I'm gonna make a buffalo chicken dip, which is actually a lot more complicated than what I had thought originally, but I wanted to do it, and then, um, also, I want to make, uh, like, a marshmallow fluff, which is one of my favorite desserts with fruit in it, um, so I just want to have some little snacks today. Like I said, we're not big into the Super Bowl or anything, but it's just kind of fun to do, and This Is Us comes on tonight, so hopefully we can watch it live. I don't know if we'll be able to, but I'll film a little bit of what I'm making um, and kind of show you guys. I feel like I sound really funny. But anyways, making some chicken right now. I am boiling it um, in here. I was going to... Um, I should have just honestly done it in the crock pot because I have to shred it. 
So I should have done the crock pot last night and then shredded it today. It would have been quicker, but I didn't really think about it. Like I didn't, I wasn't thinking that I had to shred it. Obviously you do, but just wasn't thinking about it. And uh, also I could have used canned chicken, but I didn't think about that either. Um, but this is fine. It's not like I'm on a you know certain time frame or anything. So this is a recipe that I'm using for the buffalo chicken dip. I got it um, off of Pinterest, but it is uh, looks really good. She really goes in detail describing it here. I think there's even a video, but I didn't notice. Yeah, right there. Um, but anyways, I'm just working on the chicken right now. But it is from browneyedbaker.com. Um, but you can find it on Pinterest. I just typed in buffalo chicken dip, and it was the top one. Um, so I've never made this before. Um, but I want to try it out and see if it's good and see if we like it. So I don't know why I'm so orange right now. But... <laughs> So I think that on top of it, it's just like, you know, I'm like, that neck is worn out. I'm washing my makeup off just because um, I really love the green, but today probably wasn't the best day to do it because my eyes are so watery that my makeup just did not look the greatest just because my eyes didn't look good anyway. My makeup looked good, though. I liked the, uh, the green. I'm definitely going to do that again. I'm going to film some tutorials. I promise you guys, if I stop getting sick every three days. Which would be great, for sure. Um, but anyway, you guys are probably going to think I'm so weird because I'm doing this, like, little party for me and Manny. Um, and nobody else is, like, going to be here. But we could have gone to a Super Bowl party. But like I said, I just wanted to stay home because I'm not feeling good. Which, honestly, I didn't feel like cooking all that either. But when I get my mind set on something, like, I'm not a person that really changes the plans. <laughs> Like, I like a plan, and I stick to it, so. Okay, so we have decided to watch the Super Bowl, or at least a little bit of it. It's on TV right now. Um, we're going to watch a little bit. I want to see the halftime show. I think I missed the national anthem. I know I missed it. I don't know what I'm saying. I think I missed the national anthem. I saw somebody else that had started watching it on, like, a live stream on YouTube or something, and the national anthem was playing as they were watching it, and I tried to find it, and I didn't get the link to pull up in time so I didn't watch it it was pink I think but I'm sure I can watch it on YouTube um so anyway our party has officially started I have a cappuccino over here and um watermelon um and then fruit salad which I love it's like a fluff it's like a dessert not really like an actual salad um wings the honey barbecue this dip is one from Albertson's it's a six layer dip that I love I ate some of it last night though and then the buffalo chicken dip that I just made. And obviously we had the chips laying out. So we're going to go ahead and uh, dig in a little bit. We still got the game playing over there. Um, and yeah, we're going to eat a little bit. Oh my gosh, I so, I don't feel good at all. But anyway, um, it's nighttime now. It's past 11. I'm about to go to bed. But I think I'm going to start taking that emergency stuff um, that helps your immune system. I normally have a really great immune system. I've never had really issues except for after I had mono when I was younger. My immune system was kind of destroyed from that for a while. But other than that, I've always had a really great immune system. But 
lately, I guess just because I've been getting everything, you know, it's just everything I guess has been weakening it. I hope I have knife glue in here. I do. Oh, thank you, Lord. Um, I'm normally not one big on medication, but it's just hard for me to breathe when I lay down. Um, but anyway, and I, and if I'm taking something, you know, it's gotta be real because I hate taking medicine. I will avoid it at all costs, but in most medicine makes me feel weird. This NyQuil, I mean, I go to sleep, so I don't really notice, but it's, it's been fine. But DayQuil, this one, um, and any, any DayQuil, not just this one, I can't take because it makes my heart beat too fast. And I've never like, you know, had the doctor tell me that or anything, but I know because it's my heart that I can, literally cannot take it. I've tried a few different times, which I probably shouldn't have knowing that it makes my heart beat too fast, but it literally makes my heart race so bad. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna end this vlog tomorrow morning, I think, and edit it tomorrow after we get back. Um, because tomorrow morning we're going to one of my guitar player's house. Um, he is, an amazing guitar player and we're going to his house because he said that he will uh help manny learn some stuff on guitar manny knows some stuff on guitar i don't know if he knew that but he does know basic chords and things like that on guitar and he's picks up on stuff like you would not believe like he is so quick to learn things um and he just has an ear for that type of thing um, so he's really been learning and he's doing great right, so we are at our guitar lesson or manny's guitar lesson right now i'm gonna go in only took about 10 minutes to get here. We're gonna get out and go in. I'm still sick. I obviously look pretty sick, um, but I'm all right. I slept good with that NyQuil. And uh, when I'm not laying down, I feel better. So hopefully I'll start to feel better throughout the day. You excited for your lesson, honey? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, we're home. I'm in my robe. I'm cold. Don't know why, because it's actually so warm outside. If I wasn't sick, I would go for a walk. I did the other day. I don't think we, no, we didn't vlog it, but we went for a walk the other day. I'm so tired of sick vlogs, you guys. I I know I'm not one to be sick a lot. And I told somebody on my team just this week, I was like, I know people are going to think that I'm making this up. Like, I know what they're going to think because I'm sick all the time. And I'm hoping that, you know, my boss and everything doesn't think that. I mean, I haven't taken a lot of days off for it or anything like that. I usually go anyway. But I did take two days off for that last sickness because I was just sleeping all the time and then I got this which I think this is just because I had that cold that I thought was strep throat a while back like probably two months ago or more maybe three months and my drainage continued I always had it it's like I still had the infection so I think it just started back up again um and so I'm just pretty blocked up and then I have some pain I'm probably from glands or something like that running through here so on this side last night right now it doesn't hurt actually but this side last night was just burning. It was the weirdest kind of pain. I've never had that with a cold, I don't think. I'm, I'm sure it's normal. It's probably just from the infection, of course. It's like a sore throat or whatever, but it was really bad. But I took that medicine last night, the NyQuil, and like the off-brand NyQuil, and it helped me sleep. Um, it didn't knock me out as bad as what it normally does. Usually when I take NyQuil, I cannot get up in the morning. Like, I'm like really bad. So I never take it, but last night I was like, oh, I'm gonna do it, because I need sleep and I can't breathe. So um, I was able to wake up fine. And I actually kept waking up this morning, like off and on. So I was okay. I wasn't like totally out. Um, and I mean, I'm sure I was, you know, shortly after I took it, but I think it wore off quicker than normal. Um, any kind of medicine usually makes me super tired. <laughs> I always have some kind of reaction to medicine, whether they say you will or not. I always have something and I really hate taking it because I always get, I always feel weird when I take medicine and, and like I said with DayQuil, it makes my heart race so bad. and So I just always have issues, so I, I hate taking it. Honestly, okay, this is what I'm thinking at this point. So I think that the last time that I was sick, when I had the achiness, I think that that was a touch of the flu. Now, I know people have had the flu super bad and I'm not saying like, oh, I had the flu was so bad. I'm not saying that. It wasn't as bad as what so many people have had, but I'm, you know, at an age where it wouldn't affect me as bad and then also I'm very healthy and have a pretty good immune system typically I know it's not showing lately but typically I have a very good immune system so I think that that was um probably like a little bit of the flu and I fought it off really fast that's what I think I know that might sound crazy that's what I think but this sickness I don't have a fever I don't have anything like that I honestly think it might be allergies um and I, I've never had allergies in my life so I don't know what they feel like 
but I know here in New Mexico, everybody tells me that there's something, and, and they say what it is, but I don't remember, some specific thing that everybody is allergic to, and you pretty much have to be allergic to it. Like, everybody's allergic to it, but everybody has, obviously, a different reaction to it. So I'm thinking, if I don't get better soon, I may go to the doctor, which is another thing that I don't like doing, but I may go to the doctor and um, get some... Uh, like a shot or whatever, you know, see, well, first I obviously would see if I have allergies, but, you know, they do like the testing, and then if I do try to do the shots, because I know some people do that for a while, and it helps them a lot, I don't mind shots at all, they don't, they don't neither, needles have never bothered me, so I don't mind that at all, I actually would prefer that over my daily medicine, I just don't like to swallow pills, I honestly, this is how weird I am, I'd rather get a shot than swallow a pill, dead serious, if I could just get a shot, I'm not even, I know you guys are probably thinking I'm weird, but I don't mind them, I don't think they hurt, I never have, uh, I don't think tattoos hurt that bad, I don't think that shots hurt that bad, it's just a little pinch like that, I don't really, I don't know, I have a really high pain tolerance in general, um, so things like that just don't face me, that's honestly the way that I am, um, but I might do that and see if, if that could be my problem because I think it's something other than a cold. I've never had this many colds in one year. Normally I get one a year and it's usually pretty bad. Usually I get like laryngitis with it and stuff. But the past couple of years I've been doing way better with that. So I took my temperature earlier and um, I don't have a fever or anything, but I took my temperature this morning and um, I couldn't hardly do it because I couldn't breathe out of my nose. It was when I first woke up and I could not breathe. So I'm like trying to take it and like thinking, I hope this hurries up and finishes because I can't breathe out of my nose at all. It, right now it's a little bit better than it was when I woke up. But when I first woke up, I couldn't breathe at all out of my nose. So anyways, I'm going to end the vlog. I don't even know what's in this vlog, but I'm going to end it and try to edit it right now. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I have other videos coming. I just have to go over the sickness in order to do them. Oh, pray for me, guys, whether it's allergies or a sickness, I just need it gone. That is for sure. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you are so incredible. God has such an awesome plan for your life. I promise you. He loves you so much. You know, Jesus loves you. Please remember that. Please remember that I love you. Manny loves you. We are so thankful that you watch these videos and hang out with me. And I love when you guys comment. It gets me so happy and so excited. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. And have a great day.